All right, super fast project. You may remember a video from a while back where I did a whole bunch of different jewelry pieces out of pattern bars. This is one of them, that uh, the pattern bars that I created and I sliced up and these are the pieces that are left. And I just got a full fuse load going in. I thought I'd play around with the pattern and this is what I've landed on. So I'm gonna full fuse these together. They're gonna spread out because I cut these kind of thicker. So they're gonna spread out a little bit uh, or maybe a lot of bit. And uh, I just see what it looks like when it comes out. And then I can decide what else to do with it. I think it'll become a part to something else. I may put it on some other glass and kind of fire it again and again, we'll see. But uh, this is all French vanilla that was stacked inside that uh, mold. Then I, uh, it was this triangle shaped mold. Then I cut it. You get those really cool kind of colors or reactions with the French vanilla. So that's all that is in there. It's just, just one color of glass, all from the same sheet, cut up into strips and stacked fused, cut, super thick, and then, um, in fact, let me, let me measure how thick this is. All right, so as you know, glass likes to be six millimeters. This is 9.7. So this is a full 50%, more than 50% more or thicker. So this will spread out for sure, but um, I think it's gonna be cool. So let's just uh, put it on a piece of kiln paper, put it in with another full fuse that I've got going on and see what happens. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it is so cool. <laughs> uh, I did not do a full, full fuse. I had some other pieces in the kiln uh, that had a lighter fuse to them. So um, this could have gone you know, smoother, flatter, a little bit more spread out. Uh, I'm gonna put it back in, because I have another round going that's, that is a, a hotter temperature. So uh, let it just finish fusing out into a solid puck. Uh, but I think it's really cool. Now, what am I gonna do with it? I don't have any idea. But as it is, I think it's, it's pretty wicked. So anyway, I'll stick it back in and we'll see what it looks like when it comes out of the full, full fuse. All right, after the full fuse, here it is. Now it's getting a little bit of devitrification on it. You can probably see that, uh, but it did, you know, kind of fully close in and looks nice. But what I'm really taken with is the bottom. So because this was fired on the bottom twice, you get much crisper lines along the bottom there and almost this like tortoise kind of looking pattern on the outside, which looks really cool. It looks nice on this side too, but it's nice <clears throat> on this one. And it got me thinking well, now what to do with it. Do I, you know, put it into a platter of some sort, which I do think would look cool. But the more I stare at it, I just, I kind of love it as, as a piece of art on its own. And I have this frame that uh, is almost the perfect size. It's just got a black mat back there. So I think I'm gonna put some glue on it and I think I'm just going to put that in there and do it as a framed piece of art. So, and I might just hang on to this one myself. I don't know. So anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of my favorite glue, which is this uh, Gorilla Maximum Strength Construction Adhesive Clear. I'm just going to put some on there and put that on there and then let it cure for 24 hours. And I think I got myself a new piece of art.